past president of the USA Polo Association, throws the ball in and we're underway in the fourth to quarter final. And first to it is Dario Musso on the near side, looks over his shoulder, plays the little backhand shot. Out of the ruck now comes Martin Jokan for Argentina, running the ball over the halfway line, but uh, Edward Pan takes him out of the way. Juan Gonzalez backhand there is going to be picked up by uh, Tito Guinazu. Guinazu brings the ball. Uh, under the pony's neck, drives it down towards the centre of goal, but it doesn't go in, so it's picked up by Jokin, and his shot goes over the back line to the left of the post. So, Argentina quickly on the attack, but not able to convert it to a goal, and so France will hit in from the back line. And it's Edward Pant. No, it's, sorry, it's Ungamu. And uh, he brings the ball up. I thought that should be playing at the back. But anyway, it's turned around there by uh, Yoka and Dario Musso comes in and puts the first score on the board for Argentina. Um, neat little play there. You see, there's Musso comes in, doesn't try and hit it too hard, pops it up in the air and over the scoreline. So Argentina. Early in the first chucker, they're into the lead by one goal to nil. The uh, Ungamu shot takes it high into the stand and bounces down amongst the... Uh, the crowd. So, umpire Jason Dixon will collect the ball. And it will be thrown in just uh, a little on the Argent on the uh, South Africa, uh, the French side. Too many teams in this tournament. On the French side of halfway, and he asked them to go back a little, give him some room to throw the ball. And so there it goes, and uh, it's tucked out by Edouard Pan, picked up by Ungamu. He's hooked out of the play, though, there. Coming through there, Gunazu gets a little shot under the pony's feet. Juan Gonzalez for France. Just rolling the ball forward now. Pony kicks it. He'll leave it there for Ungamu, but the pony kicks it onto the boards. Makes it difficult for Ungamu, and he's ridden hard by Musso, who turns a backhand shot around. Edouard Pan coming back for France. His little near side shot is just a good pass for Pierre Ungamu, and he brings the ball down, um, but it hits a pony, bounces out to the boards. Guinazu puts the ball over the boards and uh, the sideline, and so another throw in to take place, but this time it's deep in the... Argentinian half, France on the attack. Ball gets, hits the number ones. Juan Yocan has come through from the three position to play at the front of the line out, so now Guinazu plays the near side shot. Ingamu puts the ball down in front of Edward Pair. He can't quite get hold of it though, and it's going to be Dario Musso takes it across the thing, it, um, the ponies, hits the umpire's pony. Guinazu round the corner with it now. Backhand shot there. Bayon Gamu hits a pony, and uh, Edward Pan is in there trying to clear the ball, but anyway, it's going to be thrown in now. Campbell McNabb asking them to give him a bit of room in the centre. Now the ball goes through the ruck. Guinazu, backhand shot, hits a pony. Yokan gets a shot of the ball. Juan Gonzalez trying to push it through now. Edward Pan. Around the corner he goes with it, but finally Guinazu sneaks the ball away out of the ruck, gets the next shot, but Edward Pan's backhand turns with a bit of interest. Dario Musso heading for the ball now. His near side shot gets caught up in a bit of traffic, and so it's cut under the pony's neck there by Martin Yoka. And uh, now Guinazu brings the ball up, bounces high and goes over the sideline. So... Ball goes right through the ruck. It Ungamu on the back of that one now, but it's turned up by Musso. Ungamu once again brings the ball forward for France. Pierre Onni comes through now and um, just dragging the ball around. He's got nice control. That's good stick work by Pierre Ungamu. Brings the ball across the line. Got a cut shot from here. Doesn't get a lot of distance, but it's beautifully hit there by Edouard Pam, but he just puts too much angle on it. And it just runs off a pony's foot, I think, and goes to the left. So. A little bit of a let off there for Argentina. So Dario Musso will bring the ball in from the back line. 
under the neck. Well, no, he doesn't. He goes straight with it up along the side. Edward uh, Ungamu just plays a backhand shot. Guinazu's trapping that for Argentina, but it's left sitting there. Pan just trying to clean the ball out now. Guinazu hooked out of it by Ungamu. Ungamu's backhand shot, and the whistle blows. The umpire's not happy with that, and so let's see where they head. Well, looks like they're going all the way down to the uh, the penalty zone, and uh, by Jason Dixon drops the ball on the cross, which marks the spot for a defended penalty hit. So France, looking down the barrel of a second goal here, that they'll be able to come out. It looks like Juan Gonzalez will place himself in the goal. And Tito Guinazu will take the hit for Argentina. Puts it away to the left, so uh, throws his head in anguish. And, uh, you'll see there he comes in and he's just put the angle the other way. I think he tried to hit it left and get a bit of spin on it anyway. He um, castigates himself but gets on with the game. It's backed in by Musso. Now picked up by Edward Pan. Pan shot bounces off the boards. Ungamu comes in, trying to just bring the ball around the corner. Unloads, but it doesn't get a lot of distance. Quinnes is there and he just runs the ball across into centre field. Juan Gonzalez is there for France. He plays a backhand shot. Ungamu can't get the near side shot. Picked up Edward Pan. Dario Musso gets his pony in the way. Now Guinazu drives it down across the halfway line. In comes Pan. Pan plays the ball now and following down that line was Gonzalez and the whistle has blown. And Tito Guinazu not uh, happy about that. Musso, he's saying, hey, umpire, what happened there? And uh, so here we go, you see Guinazu coming in to tap the ball around and Gonzalez coming down the line, but the umpires have had a conference and they said no. Guinazu had room to move there, so it wasn't an imminent collision. No penalty results and the ball is picked up now by Guinazu once again. Ungamu rides him off the ball, taken forward there by Martin Yokan. Backhand by Edward Pan, takes it back to the halfway line. There's only a second left in the chucker, so there goes the siren. That's the end of the first chucker. Argentina leading by a goal. They looked as if they were about to take over early in the chucker, but France got their act together after a minute or two, and they've played well defensively. So uh, one goal, the difference, nothing in a game as tight as this, and France really starting to bring their attack through at the end of the chucker. You call me an Albert. Albert, they're playing. Hello. So, second chucker starts for the fourth quarter final here. Argentina leading by one goal to nil. France. On the defence here at the moment, but um, they've changed ends. In comes Edward Pan and Guinazu, and uh, their sticks clash, and the umpires blow the whistle. And it looks like they've decided it was the Frenchman coming in there who had the most right to that angle. But there's a bit of a discussion going on between Jason Dixon and Campbell McNabb. And there you see Jason Dixon explaining what he saw and why he considers that to be a foul. And he's just asking the players to be quiet. Because it's, uh, I think the French thought they had that one. And eventually though the ball is going to be placed on the defended penalty line for Argentina to take the hit. France back in defence, into the goal mouth. 
Darian Musa taking the ball up there for Argentina. And he'll, uh, he'll take this hit. He's just going to walk the pony in. Winnerzu took the last penalty, but Musso has decided to take this one. And it's trapped there by Juan Gonzalez, picked up by Gungamu, who takes it out towards the sideline. And so that's a nice stop of a penalty shot. Winnerzu brings the ball around now for Argentina, runs it in towards goal, cuts the ball towards goal, but he's put it to the left of the post. And so uh, France breathe a big sigh of relief, and they will come back take the hit in from the back line and uh, Pierre Ungamu for France gets a bit of length on it drops it down almost to the halfway Edward Paz there gets a little tap shot in now Juan Gonzalez gets plenty of length on that one. He's put it up into the penalty zone now. Can Edward Pan turn the backhand around? He does, but uh, Gonzalez unable to trap it. There's Aguinas who comes around for Argentina. Goes around on the inside. He's hooked out of the play though there by Gonzalez. Dario Musso drives the ball up, hits a couple of ponies on the way through. Gonzalez. Digs the ball out for France, but uh, Guinnessu traps it. Now, Edward Power coming through now. Just bringing the ball down towards the goal. In comes Martin Yokan. Gives him a hard time for it, but it's picked up by Ungamu. Ungamu trying to clear it. Dario Musso puts it away for Guinnessu to pick up the pass. He'll take it out towards the sideline and got Argentina out of a heap of trouble. In comes... Tito Guinazu now following through Martin Yokan. Yokan shots out towards the sideline. And it's Pierre Ungamu's first to it. He elects to play the backhand because he can see Gonzalez going for the pass. But Guinazu puts a backhand in. Now picked up by Edward Pan. Pan shot takes it over the halfway line. Now look at um, Juan Gonzalez taking Guinazu out of the way. But eventually they hit it around onto the stick side for Dario Musso. Ungamu's pony taps the ball in the right direction for France. But it's picked up by Musso. Musso out towards the sideline. <laughs> now a near side shot. Musso again. Bringing the ball over the halfway, backed out there by Gonzalez for France. Guinazu. Now, Gonzalez again, doesn't get any length on it though. Musso is there. In comes Pan. Hooks him out of that next play, picked up by Ungamu. Ungamu pushing it around behind the pony's feet, but it's Musso who's next to the ball for Argentina. Put down on the ground by Gonzalez, and that's given him a couple of lengths spare, and he takes it up towards the halfway line. Yokan tries to get the backhand in. Can't get that quick shot, and look at Edward Pan shot down there. Four, oh, and um, Gonzalez can't dig the ball out of the snow. So, winners are around there. Edward Pan shot, takes it in towards goal. Here goes a goal for France. So, Gonzalez not able to get this sitting shot before, <laughs> comes around and gets a far more difficult one and drives it through the goal. So, it's one all now, France and Argentina. Just look at the replay here. He leans out, drives the ball, puts it in the air, and brings it through the goal. Another shot of it there from a different angle, and you see how far he is leaning out of the saddle to get that. So, Argentina put the ball back in play. Well, here's a different complexion on this game. Argentina looked terribly strong in the first couple of minutes. But France is right back into this now. They're having a, having a, a, a strong attacking game. And a shot by Guinazu. Hits a pony. Goes forward now. It's dug. It's stuck in a hole there. And I think the umpires are going to say, I don't think you can dig that one out. We'll throw the ball in. Just on the snow. Occasionally you'll get where a horse is really dug in when it's turning. Dario Musso quickly back on board a fresh horse. Jason Dixon actually going back to hand over those glasses. Defensive play if the ball goes straight and hard. So you'll see a good shot of the crowd there. That's the Brazilian team who were knocked out early but are staying around to see how they're mates and the rest of the polo community go in this competition. Nice strong hit by Ungamu. Brings it out to the left of centre. Backed in there by Juan Gonzalez. Doesn't score though. Goes over the back line but it puts France on the attack. So they'll see if they can trap this hit in from
Dario Musso hits in from the back line for Argentina. Takes it out to the right-hand side. Doesn't get a lot of length on it, but um, Tito Guinazu is in there to take the ball forward. He just swings the stick over, keeps the ball rolling. Look at his head down. Up he goes. Pushing the ball away from the boards now. Finally leaves it there for Martin Joachim, but um, he just tries to dig it out of the snow. Now Musso comes through. Musso heading to goal. Musso's hit it to the left. Can he cut it from there? Brings it back in play. It's left sitting there. A great save. Pierre Ngamou brings it out of the jaws of death. Pulls the whip. Goes up to uh, Guinazu. Guinazu's backhand is met there by Juan Gonzalez. In comes Edward Pan. Now it's Ungamu. Plays the ball, now he's got him out of trouble. It's up over the halfway line, off the boards it goes. So Argentina so close, but yet so far now because Musso has to try and bring them back on the attack. Brings it down along the boards. Ungamu, he just hits the ball forward there now, but it's uh, trapped there by Gonzalez, but he couldn't get hold of it hard enough. And now in comes Dario Musso, and he gets the bounce on the ball, looking dangerous here for uh, France, but they turned the ball, and Musso just couldn't get hold of it. In comes. Uh, Edward Pan, in comes Gonzalez, tries to dig it out. Guinazu coming around. Umpires blow the whistle. And uh, Tito Guinazu not happy about that one. Anybody who can lip read Spanish? That's probably not printable. Anyway, there it was. Dario Musso had the goal in front, but the ball just in the snow. It gets stuck in a divot. You can't drag it out. Lovely backhand by Ungamu. Got it out of the snow and so a hit of water to France and they'll just be happy if this ball goes down to the other end of the field. We're heading for the halfway mark here, 14 seconds left in the chucker and Ungamu drives it strong and hard. It bounces awkwardly though, there's still time here and um, Dario Musso nearly tips himself out of the saddle. Backhand shot, Guinazu coming through. Guinazu takes it off the boards, couple of seconds left in the chucker, Guinazu but that's the end of it and so Tito Guinazu had the right idea, he was bringing it into centre, but time running out for them. So it remains one goal all at half time. Tight, tough game this. And that of course makes it. Don't get many free hits at the ball. And uh, very few goals got an opportunity. So, umpire Jason Dixon just laying down the rules. And puts the ball into the line out. It's picked out there by Juan Gonzalez for France. Bounces high off Musso's stick and then he'll play the backhand. Goes into the traffic though, Edward Powers there, he tries to tap the ball forward, but nice play by Martin Joaquin because he trapped that and gave it to Guinazu. And now Guinazu hitting it through and a backhand shot there by Ungamu has gone up to Musso. Musso on the near side and Argentina quickly as they did in the first chucker have uh, scored from the throw in. So they're very, very quick to get themselves going. And France just, here we go. This is Musso on the near side, on the near side, drives the ball through. Difficult shot to lean out there, but he's done it beautifully. See how far he's out of the saddle to play that shot. Horse going perfectly for him. So from the back it goes in now. Musso with the backhand shot, picked up there by Gonzalez. Gonzalez shot is covered though by uh, Joachim. But, uh, now, Edward Pan. And a little backhand shot by Guinazu. Juan Gonzalez digs it out. Guinazu comes around and picks up what's left. Drops it down behind the umpire. Gonzalez, his backhand shot runs into Guinazu's pony. Good blocking by Guinazu. He's brought the ball forward again now and running it down towards goal. This looks dangerous for France. And a lovely little tap shot there, but it's gone through. Gonzalez got to stick to the ball, I think, there, but he wasn't able to put it the right side of the post. So we've seen that a couple of times here, an own goal being scored, but it's desperate stuff when the ball gets down that close to goal. You watch here, he goes, he goes for the cut shot under the pony's feet, and unfortunately it bounces off the front foot and goes through the goal. So Argentina pushing out to a two goal lead here, and uh, France now will need to get going and score some goals in this third chucker. They can't afford to let Argentina get too far out with a chucker to go. Backhand shot there by Edward Pan comes off the boards. Musso, Dario Musso, by the ball forward now for Guinazu. Guinazu's taken off the ball. No, he's not. He gets a shot at it. It's a big bump from Edward Pan. He has to go around the corner with it now. Just taps it under the pony's feet. As I said, these Argentinians are very, very good stick 
and they, they are able to just play the ball on a string at times. But anyway, Gonzalez says, no, I've got it now. Here it goes backwards. So Guinazu, once again, just bringing the ball around the corner. Maybe here on the snow, you've got to probably hit it a bit harder than that. So Gonzalez gets possession again for France. Now he goes around with the tap shot. Guinazu can't get the meet, but he turns up in time to get the backhand. Plays it into centre field. Now going hard for the ball here. Ungamu gets it. Here, Ungamu for France. Gonzalez has just broken clear here a little. Plays the ball out towards the sideline. He's going to look to get the bounce off the boards here, but um, now he carts man out of the way and leaves it there for Edward Pam. Puts it down. Guinazu reads that nicely. He's the first one out of the ruck. And, well, the umpire's watching there now. There were two men coming down. I don't know whether it's just that... <laughs> Juan Gonzalez has come out of the saddle, so I think that's why they've blown the whistle. So, the groom comes out to tighten up the girth. Some of the spectators in the FIP stand, the Federation International Polo, um, a fully endorsed program for by the international. Photographing the pictures, visiting that's. Uh, couple of the Canadian supporters they would be a little bit disappointed with the result of their team's game earlier on today but this is very very tough it really is a situation you've got the top 12 countries in the world in polo here competing and uh, having seen all the games in the preliminary rounds and now the four games in the quarterfinals there's really been very very little between these teams. A lot of luck in the snow pile. Sometimes the bounce of the ball, all getting caught at the critical time. So here it is now, caught up. And also hits a backhand shot. In comes Edward Pan. He comes forward now, can't dig it out, but Gonzalez does. Gonzalez hooked out of the play, picked up by Wungamu. Wungamu finally gets a bit of length on the ball, but it's taken out there by Guinazu. Guinazu for Argentina on the near side. Great stick work again. He's done this all through every three games he's played. Now he goes on the near side. Now he'll take it on the offside once again. Look at the ball control here from this man. Brings it down now, drives it towards the goal. That's four goals to Argentina. Superb individual goal there by Tito Guinazu. Um, on seven goals, and um, that's uh, such a typically Argentinian play. It's a great skill they have. Of course, they, they've got more polo players just about in Argentina than the rest of the world, and they start playing at a very young age, and they learn and practice that accurate hitting. So, oh, just about lands in the Munster. The box for one of our Cameron. It'll be thrown in virtually on halfway. Argentina now pushing the score out to three goals that if it's 4 1. So pressure on France. They need to get the next goal. Can they do it? Caught up amongst the twos, Gonzalez. Leaves it there for Ungamu. Ungamu's shot over towards the boards. Comes out on the stick side for Edward Pan. Edward Pan's shot doesn't get a lot of length. Busso tries to push it down back along the line, but it's going to be Ungamu. Here Ungamu now digs the ball out of the snow. And, well, they all think they had a right to hit that one. There's three Frenchmen and Argentinian in there. So light blue shirts in a minority. And uh, the umpire said, no, I'm sorry, boys, that... Uh, the Frenchmen were doing better, so they will get a hit on the spot. Just players milling around the ball. Not at speed, so not terribly dangerous, but technically that's a foul. And, and uh, Jason Dixon just um, telling the players not to ride one another off before the ball is struck. You're not allowed to make contact until the ball is in play. So there they go now. Watch Gonzalez and winners who come together, but it's hit there by Edua, by Ngamu, but it's trapped there by Musso. Musso takes it up along the boards. Gonzalez, backhand shot. 
And uh, Musso's pony gets it. Edward Pan hits it into centre field. Ungamu driving hard for the ball now. Gets hold of it. Just gets a tap at it though. Gonzalez coming through now. Guinazu. Guinazu puts the ball up to Dario Musso. Musso takes it down the centre once again. Gonzalez needs the backhand from here. Gets it. Doesn't get the length on it he'd like. Ungamu. No. Uh, Edward Pan leans out. Backhand by Musso. Edward Pan takes the ball over towards the sideline. Gonzalez goes out and takes Yokan out of the way. And now. It's um, Edward Pan, there's uh, 30 seconds left in the chunk of France. They want to see Gun uh, Argentina go in that direction, but here they go. Dario Musso, he's got um, 30 seconds left. No, he's got about 16 seconds left. He puts it to the right of the post, but he knows that's the direction they want to go at the end of the chunk. And so, France. Well, they probably won't get time to hit in here. Ungamu doesn't want to give the ball to Argentina if he can help it. Umpire's called play, but there goes the siren. and that's the end of the chucker. And so we'll go into the final chucker here with Argentina now in a fairly handy position. They lead by three goals, four goals to one the score. France getting a goal in the second chucker, not able to get one in that third. So away we go now, ball's in play. Backhand there by... Joaquim, but it's picked up nicely by Ungamu. Ungamu takes the ball through, Musso plays the backhand. And uh, it's gone into the soft zone, so they'll just throw the ball in towards the sideline. So we've got a dead zone, a no-play zone in the centre of the field now. You can see that red line on the right-hand side of your screen. So if the ball goes through that zone, that's fine. But uh, they put it in there again. But this time, running through it now, it's um, it's uh, Yokan brings the ball through. Gwinnazu trying to pick it up. Now Ungamu coming through on the near side. And uh, it's picked up by Gwinnazu. Gwinnazu taking the ball around now and um, driving it down to the right of the post, so no score results, and France will hit in from the back line. So this is not where they want to be. They want to get up in that attacking half. So let's see what Ngamu does with this hit now. Pony trotting up for him, so he has to come over and just plays the ball. Nice strong shot because Gonzalez is going to be on the end of that one, but the Pony does a bit of a leap as he turns it. It's picked up by Edouard Pan. Dario Musso plays the ball over towards the boards. Now, tries to dig it through, puts it in the air, over the sideline, up almost into the top stands. So, so Argentina know that uh, if they can just keep the ball down in this attacking half and protect that three goal difference, they will be in the semi-finals. So, winners are not trying to hit it too hard, but Edward Pan gets a backhand in. Gwinnazu shot, hits the pony's back feet. Pan coming through, and he beats the hook, takes the near side shot, takes the offside shot. Musso taps it under the pony's back feet. Martin Jokamp's called to leave it there by Twito Gwinnazu, who brings the ball down the centre now. Well, it's not in the Argentinian's nature to play negatively, so he's going for goal. And uh, Ngamu's pony just dives on him a little bit, can't get the backhand in. Edward Pan does, and a shot by Musso. Hits a pony, coming out of the ruck now. Tito Gwinnazu. He puts it high in the air now, bounces it a couple of times, now tries to tuck it in, but a little backhand shot by um, Pan is picked up by Ungamu. Ungamu takes it out to the sideline, gets France into the attacking half from here, brings it up to the halfway line. Well, not quite the attacking half because it's just stopped short. Winnazu brings it over the um, dead ball area, picked up there. Nice backhand shot by Edward Pan. Puts it down now for Gonzalez to come through. Musso tucks the backhand under the pony's feet. Gwinnazu, he'll come around the corner with it. Just to, takes it on the near side now. Push it out towards the boards. Just trying to keep the possession now. In comes Musso. Musso's shot is covered there by Edward Pan. Out of the ruck comes Pierre Ungamu. He'll can run to the ball now with Gwinnazu. Gwinnazu gets the bump, but they both ride over the ball. Pony kicks it forward. Backhand shot now by Martin Jokamp. Now it's going to be Winnazu again stealing the ball. Winnazu. Now it's uh, Martin Jokamp coming through, but he's trapped at um, 
hooked out of the play there. So Gwyneth who dives in, picks up what's left. Backhand shot by Edward Pan is there for Musa, who goes 360 degrees and comes around and plays the ball on the offside out towards the sideline. Now Musso brings the ball down towards the back line. Has he got time to get there? Yes, he does. And he puts it across the goal mouth and out to the right of the posts. And so no score results. It remains uh, Argentina for Pierre Ungamu hits the ball in. Next shot hits a pony. He plays the backhand this time. Gets a bit of length on it. Turning up nicely. Edward Pam, but Musso's there to meet it. Dario Musso drops it down, puts it out to the right of the post. And Ungamu's pony doesn't do the right thing for him. That doesn't get him in, but the, it's turned around eventually by Gonzalez. Gonzalez's shot is met there by Guinazu. Guinazu shot up to Musso. Musso's got a big angle from here, but he's got a nice angled shot, but it just goes to the right of the post. So it's going to be. From the back line, France. Minute 43 to score three goals to get a penalty shootout. Pierre Ungamu drives the ball out towards the sideline. Gonzalez tucks the ball back. Tries to just bring it in on the near side. He's successful in doing that, but oh, Musso's there to meet it and turn the backhand around. And Guinnessu dives in and digs it out of a hole. Now he drives, takes it down towards the corner, and France just not able to get into this attacking zone at all. Um, Guinnessu keeps possession. No, he doesn't. He's lost possession, but Musso's going to pick it up anyway, and he'll come around the corner with it, running it in towards goal. And if this one goes through, I think that's the cork in the bottle for France. But no, they dig it out. Gonzalez still trying hard. Edward Pan taps the ball under the pony's feet. Guinnessu finally has to get out of the way. Now, Edward Pan's ridden off the ball, but Ungamu drives the ball down to about 70 or 80 yards out. Musso with the backhand shot, brings it back to halfway. And um, Gonzalez covering now. He's got Martin Yokan going with him now. Guinnessu beats the hook. Beats the players, takes the ball towards the goal. Coming around now, the great stick man rides towards goal, puts it through, and that's five goals to Argentina. And like the last game, we see one team starting to push away quite uh, dominant now at the end. And I think that's probably from France's point of view. They will not worry about trying to score four goals to draw this one. And so with only seconds to go in the game, the uh, two teams have elected to, well, they shook hands anyway. The last hit in was taken. And so Argentina into the semi finals at the expense of France. A very resounding win by five goals to one.